Hello, Aryan. Hello, George. How are you? I am well. How are you today? I'm great. You're great? Yeah. Sounds good. It's Monday. Yeah, and Monday. I think Monday night for you. Yeah. So how was your day? What did you do today? Today was a normal day. Normal? Yeah. Okay. And what is normal for you on Monday? Um, that my school is going on that far. My school is not going on, sorry, that far. Okay. So you went to school then? No, not went to school. No school. Is that normal? Vacations is going on. Oh, vacation. Okay. How long is your vacation? I, uh, April to April 1. Okay. So until April 1st? Yeah. Okay. And today is March 20th. Okay, that's a nice vacation, about two weeks. Okay, and what are, you, what are you planning to do on vacation? You might have told me, but I forget. What do you I'm, want? Uh, it's what? Fixed. A what? It's not fixed. Okay. Uh, the, I will. I can also go my uncle's house. I can play. I can go some trails. I can go in amusement parks. I can go in museums. It's not space. Sounds good. Like you can do a lot of different things. Yeah. Okay. That's for my mom. All right. I need to take a vacation soon. It's been a long time since I took a vacation. Um, at, least, mm -hmm. at least a few days just to rest and relax. All right. So why don't we get our lesson started today? You know this you. expression, free time. Yeah, I know. Okay. Another word, leisure time. Do you know leisure? Yeah, I know leisure time. I okay. Know. Same thing. Free time, leisure time. But leisure time is a better word. It's better? Yeah, we should prefer to say leisure time. It might be a little more formal. We can use both. We actually use both. Leisure time or free time. Yeah, I don't know if like one it. is necessarily better. You might like one more than another. Like, not I think. Necessarily. Not yeah. necessarily. But leisure time, we should say. It's cool. Okay. All right. Well, let's call it leisure time then. Free time, leisure time. It means the same thing. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Uh, congratulations. Do you want to read this or do you want me to read? I can read. You made it to the last lesson in Unit 4. You learned lots of new words. Now you can use the verb to go with different adverbs and prepositional phrase. Uh, you also know the difference between the future tense EX. I'll go tomorrow and the future present progressive example. I am going tomorrow. Yeah, just uh, two different ways to pretty much say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to go tomorrow. Yeah. And there are yeah, other ways to talk about the future as well. A lot of times we use them the same way. There are some times where we only use one or the other. Not many times, but there are times when one is better than the other. Do you have any questions here? 
No. All right. So pretty easy. I know you did well in those classes. And just this top part here. Can you read that top part here? Yeah. In this unit, we learn about going different places, books, genre, music, genre, at spending time with our family and friends. Wow, we learn a lot in unit four. Okay. I know we talked about music genres, book genres, and movie genres. Yeah. Okay. And do you have any favorite book, music, or movie genres? That's the no question. Book. No book. Uh, music genre is some romantic and movies also. You like romantic movies? Yeah, and romantic genre. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I know we talked about uh, Titanic. The Titanic? Yeah, that's a combination of historic and romantic. Did, did you uh, see Titanic? Yeah. Did you like it? And this is 1997, Titanic. I liked it. Yeah, it's it's really good. And so it was the Gulliver song? It's what? Yes. You have uh, heard that Believer song? Which song? Believer. Believer? Yeah. I know you gave it to me. You know, I'm going to make, I have time today after class. And I have it right here. Yeah, Believer. And yeah, I have it right here. So I'm going to check it out after. I promise I'll do it today. Okay. I just haven't. Uh, I've been so busy with other things. But I have, some free, I have some free time today, finally. Okay. And let's see. And, you know, let me circle this so I, that'll help me to remember. All right. Let's see what more we have today. And uh, guess the genre, book or music genres in each picture. And I'll give each one a number. Okay, number one. That looks like a music genre. Yeah, it's a music. Both are music genre. What, what kind of music is that? Uh, that is, I think, oh, he's using guitar, so I think it's soft rock. You know, it might be, uh, when I see that hat, that's like a cowboy hat. When yeah. you see cowboy country, it's usually country. country. So, yeah, so when you see someone dressed like that, it's usually country music. And um, second one is jazz. Definitely looks like jazz. And uh, third one is romance. Romance. Yeah, I don't know if that's music or a book, but yeah, with the heart. Romance. It's music and it is in book and it is in movies also. Exactly. Number four. Mystery. Mystery. Okay. And number five. Uh, it's rock. It's rock. That one is definitely rock. Okay. And there are genres within genres. I think we mentioned that. Uh, there is soft rock, hard rock, metal rock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just different types of rock as well. So genres within genres. And some types of rock I really like. Others like the metal. Do you have you ever heard of heavy metal? Yeah, metal. Yeah, I don't really like the the heavy metal, the death metal. Do you know what that is? Death metal music. 
Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to put up an example now. I don't like this. I don't normally listen. To, I don't listen to this. But so you have an idea of what it is. And my guess, because of the type of music that you like, you won't like this type. Death metal music. And uh, let me just find a quick video here. And I've never heard this one before. But uh, now let me put this up here. One second. Okay. And uh, here we go. Death decline. Okay. I think it's this one here. And yeah, they say death metal. And let me turn up the music and tell me if you like this at all. <laughs> Do you like that? Definitely not. Yeah, I agree with you, but some people like it. And it seems like they always sing the same way. It's always that. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, they're shouting. They're not singing. They're shouting. Yeah. And uh, they're rhyming their songs. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I, I don't understand what they're saying, but uh, the only I time I, I could ever think of listening to that is if it's like two in the morning, I have homework to do, and I'm trying to stay awake. If I put that on, it's going to keep me awake, I think. But I don't listen to that. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of read. Do you want to do this? We're looking for prepositional phrases here. Yeah, uh, it's so big. Okay. Do you want me to read or do you want to read? I should read. Jack sings all the time. His neighbor, Mina, thinks he's very annoying. She tells him to stop singing, but Jack wants to be a famous country musician. So he goes in his car, drives to music, to a music store. He goes to buy a guitar. He finds the perfect guitar. He goes home and start practicing Jack practices of for weeks, but he is still terrible. Mia He's still plays, terrible, terrible, very yeah. bad. Mia plays guitar very well, and one day she gets so frustrated with the noise that she often to give Jack lessons at least now the music I hear through the windows will be good music. She thinks as Mina spends time with Jack, she realizes that he's very that he's very amusing. In the end, Jack and Mina fall in love. Okay. Yep, they fall in love. Yeah. So Everyone says, ah, you know, it's, yeah. yeah, that's kind of an expression some people do. Ah, they're so in love. Romance. Okay. I guess it happens. So here we're it's looking. A story. What, the story? Yeah, it's a, a story, I think. Well, you never know with, uh, you know, some uh, relationships. Um. Uh, Sometimes people, when they first meet, they don't seem to like each other. But once they start to know each other, they uh, start... I think this story name should be "When Jack and Mina Fall in Love." This well, like be... Jack and Rose in Titanic. Do you remember Titanic. Jack and Rose in the Titanic? Yeah. Jack. Yeah. I don't think they they started liking each other. Well, maybe in a little. I think Jack saw her and he was like, "Wow, she's beautiful." 
But I don't think Rose liked Jack at first. Hmm. But then she started to find him interesting, and then they ended up falling in love. And and that's the, but of course that was not a real story. That was fiction. Okay, so here we're looking for uh, the word go. And what we learned before, go with adverbs, go with a prepositional phrase, go with another verb. So do you see any of those here? Yeah, already. Okay, what are some that you see? Some. Like, for example, yeah. he goes in his car. What is in his car? He goes in his car, yeah. That is, is that an adverb, another verb, or prepositional phrase? Ha. Huh. Goes in the car. Prepositional phrase. Yeah. Prepositional phrase. In is the preposition, his car, the noun. He goes to buy. Okay, so uh, adverb. Mm -hmm. Adverb, yeah. Because he's telling he's a goal. He goes to buy, to buy. Yeah, so to buy, that's a verb, to buy. Yeah, and he goes. That. Yep, so we say go to buy. All right, let's see. He goes home. He goes home. Is that verb, prepositional phrase, or adverb? It's verb. verb. It's a what? It's verb. Adverb. How? Home. Home is not a verb. Oh. Okay. It's a, we're talking about where he goes. What does he do? He goes. He goes where? Home. So that's actually an adverb. This is hard. I mean, it took me a long time to understand. And English, English can be very hard at times. I think. What do you think? Do you think English is hard? Yeah, it can be. Okay. Uh, this is true. Uh, when I started college, the university, uh, we have to take English in college. It's required. You have to take uh, at least two semesters of English. And uh, when you take an exam, uh, what kind of scores do you get? Is it from like zero to 100 on an, on an exam? If you take an exam at school, yeah. what kind of scores uh, can you get? Do they uh, grade it like from zero to 100? 100 is perfect. Uh, English. Okay. I think I should get 90. A 90? Yeah. Okay. All right. And I remember when I took my first English class in college, there were like 20 students in our class. I think about 20 students. And we had our first exam. My first score was a 37. Oh. Okay. Is that pretty bad? Yeah, it is. Yeah. My 37 was the third highest score of all the students. The third highest. One girl, she got like, I think, a 92. She was good. Another person got like a 70. I had my 37. Everybody else was lower. So, and uh, pretty embarrassing for college students in the United States to score so badly. But, uh, yeah. English. It's what? In English. In English, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of funny and sad in a way. Yeah, but, uh, is that reading language. I think because in the United States, everyone thinks, I already 
speak English. Why do I need to learn it? So uh, people can speak, but they may not know all the rules. And I was like that in school. But of course, to be an English teacher, I had to go back and study and relearn all the rules again. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, these are the answers here. And those were the, the three. In his car, uh, prepositional phrase to buy, verb, and home adverb. Okay. Let's see what more we have today. Oh, man. They, had, they gave us a lot of reading today. Where we want to underline the future tense, it looks like. Okay. And uh, do you want me to read this or do you want to read? Okay, you can read. Sophia and her family love reading that, but they are going to go to the library on Saturday. They will eat. They will, 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 each borrow a new book. Sophia always picks a mystery book. Her mom picks a romance book and her dad picks a science fiction book. They will chill at library for a few hours and they will, will, will read books. Next, they Go to get lunch at a cafe. Each person will share that. Their book is about it will be a great day. All right. Excellent reading. Yeah, we saw some. Uh things in present tense. Yeah. Uh, her, Sarah or Sophia and her family love. That's present. Giving information. And uh, did you notice all the te future tenses in this, in, in this uh, paragraph? Yeah. Okay. Going to go. Yeah, What's going another? Uh-huh. position phrase. Well, here, when we say be, going to, and go, that is, uh, is that a preposition? A prepositional phrase is when we have a preposition, like to, but after, we have a noun. They are going to, uh, they're going to the, yeah, that's kind of hard. Uh, when we say go, and then the preposition, go to the library. If I just say, I go to the library, that's the prepositional phrase. But because I'm saying, are going to and go, that is future. Oh. So they are going to go. And yeah, that's a prepositional phrase, to the library. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it is a little hard, but uh, yeah, with a little practice. And you know what? If you are are just if you just want to speak English, you don't have to remember all of these rules. Um, yeah, you just want to use them correctly. Yeah, we don't want to say they are going to go to library, to the library. Okay, or they are going to go to the library. Yeah, we just want to use the words correctly. But to remember, this is a prepositional phrase. This is an adverb. Most people don't know that. They just speak. Aryan, do you have any questions here? Um, no. Okay, so with will, future, they will chill. They will read. Uh, they are going to get lunch, future. Be going. To, okay. Sounds good. Let's see what more we have today. Uh, what, more reading? 
no, oh. no, no. Um, um, we only have four minutes left. Do you want to do? We don't have to do this if you don't want. No. Instantly. Okay. Yeah, sometimes uh, uh, with these lessons, they do give us too much to do. Yeah. Yeah, they, they say do. we're going to learn this, and then by the time we get to it, we're out of time. I I like amusing too. You, you like yeah. what? I like some amusing things. Music things? Amusing. Amusing. Amus amusing. Amusing. Okay. When they uh, give too much of amusing things, uh, I, I think... Uh, I think uh, that uh, it's boring because they give too much of amusing things like reading. Uh, I like reading, but they they are giving too much of reading now. <laughs> I am. Yeah. And then you're kind of like, oh, no, not more of this. And then you just start losing interest and you get yeah. bored. Yeah, you have to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So that's why I sometimes like to put in you know, maybe a short video of something funny or amazing, like the motorcycle jump. I think I showed you the motorcycle jump. I showed you that? Yeah. Okay. Or the kid on the bicycle who does all the tricks, things like yeah. that. Okay. So let's see if there's anything here amusing. We only have a few minutes left anyway. Tudor story. See, they, they don't even tell me I'm supposed to tell a story. It says I'm supposed about a favorite novel or movie. Well, we've talked about movies before. Yeah, we should okay. talk. It's called uh, Titanic and so on. Yeah, my favorite movie, The Lord of the Rings. Well, there are actually three of them. Yeah. Okay. And they're actually uh, kind of tied together. It's three movies, but they're all the same story, one after the other. Uh, I love that those uh, movies there. Harry Potter, I think you like Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. Okay. And I hope they come out with a new one. Uh, what is it, The Cursed Child? I love it, too. Okay, because I know there's a Broadway play, Harry Potter, and I think it was The Cursed Child. You have seen the Squid Game? Squid Game. It's a what? You have seen the Squid Game movie? Squid Game. I've seen that, Squid Game. It's a TV series. Yeah. Okay, did you um, watch that? And there has told that player one is the luckiest. Yeah. Who gets, yeah. Who, who gets number one? He is the luckiest one. Yeah, and they're making a second season. I know they're going to make another season of that. Uh, that's what I know. I don't know what it will be about or what they're going to do with that. Oh. So uh, did you watch any of Squid Game? You, yeah, I have watched some, some. Okay. Yeah, because uh, that is, uh, well, they rate different movies. You may know, and TV shows, like there's some movies anyone can watch, even small yeah. kids. You have seen Squid Game. Uh, Squid Game, it might be, uh, well, it's definitely for adults. Maybe older kids. But because there's that, those, it's violent. It's not for young children. Uh, it it is in YouTube. It is in YouTube. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know if it's complete. They might have taken certain parts out. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Because they they do that sometimes. They we say edit. They take out the parts that are not for kids. Oh, we only have 10 seconds, and Campbell's going to stop us. We'll talk more about this in our next class. Okay. Okay, Aryan, thank you so much, and I will...